yesterday I had the six hour lecture about the relationship between Ayurveda and Jyotisha uh, in Poland. So uh, I thought that today I will make a break. But then I found a few interesting charts with the sun out of the Lagna. So we will go through these examples and we will find what the sun on the Arudalagna Lagna means. Maharaj and this can mean two things. One is the king, one is the very spiritual person. So the same characteristic have the sun. This may show these two meanings of totally opposite periphery regarding to their characteristics. So we have king on one side, we have very spiritual person and both of these people or both of these group or these sectors are signified by the sun. So we will see some charts, some examples of people who have some strongly influencing the Arudha Lagna and we will see how this is manifesting for them. So we will go quickly through these examples. So we have the focus on the sun and Arudha Lagna. We will give probably few explanation more, but we will try to keep nice pace. So we have the Sigmar Gabriel. He is the first example here. He was the vice chancellor of Germany and he was very high in the SPD uh, party. And later on after this uh, government uh, career, he also went into big business. So he was CAO of a few companies related to banks and so on. So in this chart, we have seen Lagna Lord in the third house. Why we are looking at the Ascendant Lord? Because for the calculation of the Aruda, Ascendant Lord is needed. So if you want to see how to calculate the Aruda, please see the video here. So if the Ascendant Lord, Mercury here, because this is Gemini Lagna, so Mercury will be the Lord. Mercury is in the third house, so the Ascendant Lord is in the third. So Aruda Lagna will fall in the fifth house. So we have Aruda Lagna in Libra. Now we see that first of all, the sun is aspecting the Libra by Rasi Drishti. So for the Aruda Lagna, if you want to see in which sector you will work, you are seeing the planets in the Aruda, but also planets which are aspecting Aruda. And in this case, we are using the Rasi Drishti, which is the sign aspect. If you want to learn about the sign aspect, then see this video here. And now we see that the sun being in the third house is aspecting the Aruda Lagna and also the Lord of Aruda Lagna Venus is with the sun. So we see that sun has very strong influence on the Aruda, making the person working in the government sector. We also see that Venus and Mercury are there, which is showing more or inspiring the person more into this line of business, which he was working after this government career life. So in this chart, we see everything is working fine. Quick jump to the Navamsha, sun is aspecting 10th house. In the Dashamsa, sun is exalted in the 10th house. So in the uh, Dashamsa, planets in 2nd, 6th and 10th will show what you are doing exactly in that sector. So he's like a sun sun, he's doing the sun work in the government sector. Okay, let's now go to the second example. And the next chart is of Yves Poliquen. Again, probably I pronounce this wrong, French names. We have Ascendant in Libra, so the Lord of Ascendant will be Venus. And Venus is in the third house, Aruda will jump to fifth house. And now he was working in the medical sector, but in that sector he was a president. So we can see that there could be some influence of the sun. But first of all, for the medical sector, we need the moon and we see Aruda Lagna is with the moon. So exactly it's there. Then we have this Kartari. So Mercury and Rahu are Kartari. So for being a doctor, we also need some mercurial influence there. So we have this Mercury influence due to this Kartari with the Rahu showing the research. He was a researcher. And uh, he was this president of uh, that project of research. So we have Sun on the Aruda Lagna. This is all in the fifth house of the uh, house of knowledge. And again, Lagna Lord in the third house, which shows a very intellectual, very curious, very courageous uh, person. So that um, third house characteristic will be very much uh, personalized or internalized uh, by this person. Now let's go to the next example. And the next example is Gino Costa. Uh, he was a lawyer, but also he was a member of Congress. So definitely this is government work. 
in this case we can expect also some Jupiterian influence because of the law. So in this case we see Lagna Lord is Rahu and Mercury. Uh, if we calculate the Lagna from Rahu this will fall in Capricorn. If we calculate the Aruda from Mercury this will fall in Taurus. Capricorn is stronger and straightforward we have Sun there. So person is working for the government sector. And from the Leo we have the aspect of Jupiter. So person is working for the law. And again we have Lagna Lord in the third house which is showing the very courageous person here. Could be even more, could be even some aggression. Maybe the person uh, is doing too much because if you have malefics in the third house this is giving a Durbagya the, because they are aspecting the ninth house, the house of the fortune. So they can destroy, afflict, block your fortune. So this can be a little bit too much in this case. But nevertheless Sun in the fifth house, very nice. Also making person very intelligent. Especially with Mercury, this is the Pandit Yoga, which is the expert. And Arudo Lagna is there, which is showing that I will build myself on these characteristics. Now we have a completely different chart. We have Daniela Roken. She is astrologer, but also she was a president or a member of a board. So also very much administrative function. So normally for astrologers, we should expect Rahu Ketu on the Arudo Lagna to work in the so-called esoteric sector or field and then we would need some sun in the second moon in the 11th and such a yogas for astrologers so in this case we have lagna lord in the fourth as a leo lagna wow this is very often i have uh, seen few astrologers also uh, in the poland i have one with that same combination so we have simha lagna leo ascendant the lord of leo is the sun in the fourth house so Aruda Lagna will also be in the fourth. So this is one of the exceptions. You need to learn about the Aruda if Lagna Ascendant Lord is going to fourth. Aruda is staying in fourth. And the Scorpio is loaded by Ketu. So we have this connection to nodes. So the person can work in uh, esoteric sector. But Sun is there. So this is also giving some kind of administrative function or possibility to work even in the uh, government. The next chart is of Pen Ritual. He received the highest decoration, the Medal of Honor, for his actions in Vietnam War. So we will not judge how much ethical it was, but this is definitely the Pen Ritual and he has the A rating. So his chart is very accurate. He is Leo Lagna and Lagna Lord is again in the fourth house. And now you will see that Scorpio has two lords, it's Ketu and Mars. So for soldiers, for people who are more like generals and um, that sector, this is a bit different, this is more like army, not the administrative body, which is the sun. So there is a bit of difference between sun and Mars, but he was also uh, having that administrative function because of that sun. So here we have this Scorpio, which is giving that Mars influence, right? So this could be also Ketu, but in this case was also Mars. He could also be astrologer based only on that one point. We need to see the other points to exclude other possibilities. But uh, Sun on the Aruda Lagna again, government, and Mars is the Lord, which is giving working in the army. The next example is Ben Shapiro, also someone who is on totally opposite uh, philosophy than mine. But nevertheless, we can analyze his chart. And he has a uh, Taurus Lagna. This is uh, two lords, Moon and Venus, so again he may have two Arudas, so they are falling definitely in Aquarius. But Aquarius and Leo are empty. Sometimes Aruda can jump to seven from its placement, so then Aruda jumps to Leo and the Sun is aspecting the Aruda Lagna. So he is definitely into that line of commenting about the laws, about the politics, about the the countries, about the philosophy. So he is very much an educated person and he's also uh, having his own uh, news or a newspaper and his own platform for this political, uh, political involvement and uh, so on. We were also analyzing his chart before when we were talking about Tantlor in the sixth. Uh, he's very much a hated person, uh, has a lot of haters, a lot of opposition. He has to go everywhere with a big security group. So we see that Tantlor is a Saturn, Mars in the sixth house. So this is showing some maybe death threats. There is this Yama Yoga. And, uh, but for our purpose, for our small research, we have Arudalagna again, very much influenced by Sun because it's in Leo. 
it's in the sign of the sun and aspected by the sun. So again, we have this uh, very much connection to this government platform or working for government sector. Okay, guys, if you like this video so far, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe for more. And now let's go back to this video. And now we have a different person. We have David Gilbert, who was activist. He was also involved in the robbery. He was very much on the far left. So totally different political spectrum now. He is a Scorpio Lagna, Lagna Lord in 12. So you can see he's doing something with the 12th house, aspecting the 6th house. Especially if it's Mars, this can make uh, such involvement in some kind of criminal activities. Of course, you have to uh, confirm with other things, but uh, this is also someone who can be enemy of their self, enemy of their soul, right? Lagna Lord in 12, especially the Malefic. But the Aruda Lagna will fall in 11th house. Uh, and there is the sun. So he is doing something again with the politics, with the law. Now, interesting, very interesting thing. 11th house and Rahu are opposition to the government. So Alfu, the person is into the politics. He is from the other side. He's against the politics, against the mainstream, because this is the war between Indra and Tvastr, right? So in the 11th house, we have this Tvastr Aditya, which is fighting with Indra, with the symbolic archetype of the government. So because the Aruda Lagna is also very much with, uh, joined, loaded by Rahu, and in the 11th house, this could very often show someone who is uh, working with the politics, but being against the mainstream uh, politics. So that was the example of David Gilbert. And let's go to the next one. Then we have Daniel Berrigan, also very much activist, but this is a priest uh, who was also either jailed, he was in jail for some time, or he was, uh, there was some threats for him to go to jail. So in this chart, we see Libra Lagna. So Libra people may have problem with Mars, especially in his chart, we have Moon with Mars. And uh, so this is also triggering the mind very much, especially the 10th Lord of Creed Life is that moon with the Mars. So the Aruda Lagna here will fall again, either in Cancer or Capricorn. And in this case, we are uh, appreciating the uh, rule of Digbala because here the Aruda Lagna will fall in Cancer because the moon is exalted and the moon is aspecting the Cancer and the sun will be in 10th house uh, from Cancer. And this is the strongest planet. So this, this will definitely act activate the working in matters of government, doing something for rights, uh, fighting for some uh, views, uh, being basically the political activist. So we have this uh, Daniel Berrigan. Now we have Hans Jonas, who is the Jewish philosopher. He was very much into bioethics and very much also connected to politics, but more from this philosophical perspective. So ultimately, this is about the Jupiter, Aquarius, Rahu, sometimes Saturn. Also, Moon with Saturn can give philosophical person. So in this case, you will see that Lagna Lord is in the 12th house, has this Parivartana Yoga is here, but these are benefits. So this may show someone who is uh, rejecting. This is also a renunciation, right? Interested in that uh, minimal lifestyle. And the Aruda Lagna, of course, will be that sun exalted in Eris. So very much. Of course, we need this Jupiter 9th house because he is basically earning from academical life. So 11 from Aruda Lagna, which shows his gains, is the ninth house of academical, higher knowledge, and Jupiter is there, which is showing the uh, academia and universities. And also Jupiter is aspecting that Aruda Lagna, which shows that also he is working in that academical sector. The next chart, we were also doing him in our videos. This is the Carl Hagen. This is the chairman of the Progress Party in Norway. And in his chart, we see Cancer Lagna, very strong chart because many plants in Kendra and in strong position, we have Jupiter exalted in Lagna, we have Sun in the 10th house. And when we want to find the position of the Aruda Lagna, we need to see the Ascendant Lord. So this is Cancer Ascendant loaded by the Moon. Moon is in the third house, again, very intelligent person. Here it is alone and the uh, Aruda Lagna will fall in the Scorpio. And we see Sun from Aries is aspecting the Scorpio because as we know, the Chara Rashis, which are the movable signs, cardinal signs, are aspecting the fixed signs, the Stira Rashis, except the closest one, right? So all these Cancer, Aries and Capricorn will aspect Scorpio and in Aries we have Sun. This is the strongest. We have also Jupiter. So also in the Wikipedia, you will find that he's very much respected also in the scientific uh, sector, very much by academia, by universities. So he has this Jupiter blessing and that Sun in the 10th house. Uh, working for the government. And the Lagna Lord in the third, this Moon Mercury is definitely showing that side of him 
being an intellectual writer, person who is into the research and so on. So that was the Carl Hagen chart. Next chart is of a priest, Bruce Ritter. He was organizing a shelters for kids. So that was very much connected to the government actions. We could also debate, is it maybe the moon? Because when we talk about this uh, government body between government or administration and the people themselves, this bureaucracy, this is moon and sometimes Venus. The bureaucrat can be also Venus. So the moon is definitely there. Uh, let us see the sector for which he was working. We have a Venus, exalted, right? So Lagna Lord in 11th house is there and the Aruda Lagna will fall in the Capricorn. We have another Lord, moon. And then from the Lord Moon, the Aruda will be in the 10th. So we have Aruda in 9th and Aruda in 10th house. In this case, Aruda Lagna in 10th will work because we have planets there. And there we have the Jupiter and Sun, which is again showing someone who is a philosopher, right? Jupiter and Aquarius. And the Sun is someone who is working for that government body. He's working with all that shelters and so on. And what is very important, the Lord of that Aruda, we can also check that when we are choosing the sectors for, on which we can work. So that would be Saturn. And Saturn is with the moon. So that is showing that helping others, the shelters for children and so on. So there could be also some moon influence like here in this case, especially the 10th Lord is with the moon, which is also confirming uh, that. If you like me to help you analyze your chart, to see which yogas you have in the Rasi, Navam, Shamsa, how we can use the best from your chart to enhance the positive things and to block or to minimize the negative, and also in which periods of time all these plans will be active in your life and providing the remedy for the big challenge in your chart, then write me down below and we can schedule the consultation for you. Okay guys, that's gonna be it from me. I hope you find this video interesting and informative. Please write me down in the comments which part of this video you find most interesting. I'm always happy to read your comments. Please don't forget to click the like button. You are making this uh, video more popular on the YouTube and also subscribe for more and see you in the next one.